15 things you didn't know about Lamborghini. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by Alux.com. Today we are revealing some interesting and surprising facts about the Italian luxury car brand that has been thrilling drivers for decades. Let's talk about Lamborghini. Lamborghini was established in 1963 by Ferruccio Lamborghini, a wealthy Italian entrepreneur and manufacturing magnate. Ferruccio had a very mechanical and creative mind that led to the design and exciting new range of luxurious automobiles. Their first 10 years of business were very successful, especially with the release of the Mura sports car coupe that was driven by several well-known celebrities. Starting in the early 1970s, Lamborghini experienced a tumultuous stretch that resulted in the company changing hands multiple times, and its future was very uncertain. The company didn't truly stabilize until it was purchased by the Volkswagen Group in 1998 and was placed under the Audi division. Now Lamborghini appears to be unstoppable as they post record profits year after year. We are inspired by Lamborghini's resilience, originality, focus on luxury and dedication to quality. And let's be honest, who wouldn't want to get behind the wheel of one of these beautiful and powerful supercars? If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. We know many of our fellow Aluxers out there want one or more Lambos in their future car collection, so let's learn more about them with these 15 facts you didn't know about Lamborghini. Number 1. Frank Sinatra was an avid Lamborghini fan. When Italian exotic cars hit the American market in the 1960s and 70s, famous musicians were some of their best customers. For example, Miles Davis owned a Mura, but nearly died when he crashed it on a highway in 1972. Frank Sinatra was an avid fan of the brand, and was quoted as saying, You buy a Ferrari when you want to be somebody. You buy a Lamborghini when you are somebody. Of course, musicians today still love their Lambos. Current singers who own one or more include Chris Brown, Kanye West, Justin Bieber, 50 Cent, and Mariah Carey. Number 2. Ferruccio Lamborghini was a prisoner of war during World War II. Ferruccio was drafted into the Italian Air Force in 1940. He served as the supervisor of the vehicle maintenance unit at the Italian garrison on the island of Rhodes, which was surrounded by the Germans to the British in 1945. The island became a military protectorate and Ferruccio was taken prisoner. He was detained until the following year when he finally returned home to Italy. Number 3. Lamborghini started as a tractor company. After World War II, Ferruccio Lamborghini saw that there was a high demand for agricultural machinery, so he decided to build his first tractor. He sourced parts from discarded military vehicles to build his first Carioca tractor. His tractor business quickly took off, so he founded his Lamborghini Trattori company in 1948. Later, Lamborghini established his automobile branch, but the company still makes the tractors that started it all. Number 4. The Lamborghini logo and several car names were inspired by bullfighting. As a Taurus, Ferruccio Lamborghini already had a special connection to the bull, but this wasn't the only inspiration for the charging bull that is featured on the logo. Ferruccio was very interested in the sport of bullfighting, and this has been infused in Lamborghini's identity from the beginning. In 1962, Lamborghini visited the ranch of Don Eduardo Miura, who was a breeder of Spanish fighting bulls. He was greatly inspired by the bulls there and then decided that a bull would be the logo for his cars. He later named the Mura after the bull breeder's family name, and he returned to the ranch in Sevilla to present Don Eduardo Mura with the fourth Mura ever produced. Other ties to bulls are found in the names of the Islero, which was named after a Mura bull that killed a famous bullfighter in 1947, the Jarama, which is named after a historic bullfighting region in Spain, and Uraco, which was named after a bull breed. The Halpa, Diablo, Murcielago, and Gallardo were named after specific bulls or bull breeds as well. Number 5. The Lamborghini Veneno is one of the most expensive and rarest cars in the world. Lamborghini introduced their Veneno Coupe supercar at the Geneva Motor Show in 2013. The first production was limited to four, with three offered for sale and one placed in a museum. The people who bought the first three of these supercars were specially selected and paid $4 million for them sight unseen. In 2014, Lamborghini introduced the Veneno Roadsters, a roofless version of the coupe with a 750 horsepower, 6.5 liter V12 engine that can go from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. 
nine of these cars were produced, with a price tag of $4.5 million. As of 2017, only 12 Beninos were on the road worldwide. Number 6. Their engines are used for powerboat racing. Lamborghini is known for their V12 engines, but not all of these engines end up in their supercars. They also produce a large V12 marine engine block that is used in World Offshore Series Class 1 powerboats. Number 7. The first Lamborghini put on display was missing its engine. Lamborghini designed and built their first full prototype, the Lamborghini 350 GTV, in only four months. They wanted to have the car ready in time to display at the October 1963 Turin Motor Show, but there was one major part missing, the engine. Fruccio Lamborghini was dissatisfied with the engine that was produced and engaged in a lengthy conflict with the engine manufacturer that was eventually settled in court. Meanwhile, the car was put on display without the engine, although steps were taken to conceal that fact from the motor show attendees and the press. It has been said that Fruccio filled the engine bay with bricks so that the car would sit at an acceptable height above the ground. And of course, he made sure that the hood of the car remained closed at all times. Number 8. Lamborghini went bankrupt only a few years after Ferruccio sold the company. In 1973, the world experienced a financial downturn and the oil crisis, which heavily affected the bottom line of many car companies, including Lamborghini. Ferruccio sold the struggling company to two Swiss businessmen and retired in 1974. The company went bankrupt in 1978, and its future looked very uncertain. Ownership was passed to two brothers who sold it to the Chrysler Corporation in 1987. It was sold to a Malaysian investment group in 1994, and they finally ended up with their current owner, the Volkswagen Group, in 1998. Number 9. Design elements of the Aventador came from airplanes and bugs. The incredibly popular Aventador was designed by Lamborghini chief designer Filippo Perini. He says that he drew inspiration for the various lines and angles of the supercar from the F-22 Raptor and B-2 Bomber, as well as from stink bugs and beetles. Number 10. Lamborghini decided to start building cars after being insulted by Enzo Ferrari. Ferrari and Lamborghini are rivals, and this goes all the way back to the beginning. Back when Lamborghini was making tractors, he spent some of his money on a few different sports cars, including the Ferrari 250 GT. Lamborghini was very frustrated over the continuous problems he had with the clutch of his Ferrari, so he personally went to talk with Enzo Ferrari. Enzo told him that the problem was not with the car, but with the driver, and also told him that he should focus on his tractors, not cars. Lamborghini took this as a challenge and decided to build his own car with a V12 engine, and the rest is history. If you want to know more interesting facts about Ferrari, click in the upper right hand corner to watch our video of 15 things you didn't know about Ferrari. Number 11. Lamborghini donated cars to the Italian state police to transport organs. Lamborghini has donated multiple customized Gallardos to the Italian State Police Force, which they most commonly use to transport donated organs to their recipients. They are equipped with an automatic plate recognition system, a forward-looking camera that logs GPS info and delivers a live feed to central control rooms, and a refrigerated box for high-speed organ transport. Number 12. Missy Elliott's purple Lamborghini Diablo was stolen and wrecked. Missy Elliott's Purple Diablo was being shipped from California to Elliott's Virginia Beach home in 2001. It had almost made it but was being stored overnight at a garage in Richmond, Virginia. An employee took the $300,000 car on a joyride and wrecked only three miles away from the garage, crashing into a traffic sign, a tree, and a couple of curbs. The man was sent to jail for three years and had to pay over $170,000 in fines. Number 13. Lamborghini sold a record number of cars in 2016. Lamborghini shows no signs of slowing down. In fact, they posted record sales in 2016, selling 3,457 supercars. The company was only selling a few hundred cars when Volkswagen took over and didn't reach over 1,000 in sales until 2003. For the past six years, the company has broken their record each year for sales. Number 14. A one-of-a-kind Lamborghini is headed to the auction block. The Lamborghini 2006 Concept S was presented as a non-running design study at the 2005 Geneva Motor Show. After getting rave reviews, it was slated for production limited to 100. A road legal prototype was built with an open top design and a separator between the driver and the passenger that acts as an additional air inlet for the engine. 
Lamborghini changed their minds on the design. So this Concept S prototype is the only one of its kind in the world, and it has less than 200 miles on the odometer. It is slated to be sold at a Monterey, California auction in 2017, and is expected to bring in at least $2 million. Number 15. Lamborghini made a special golf cart for the Vatican. Lamborghini made a golf cart with special bulletproof glass that was used to transport Pope John Paul II around Vatican City. It is now housed inside the Ferruccio Lamborghini Family Museum in Funo, Italy. Now that you've learned more about Lamborghini, we'd like to know which one of their models is your favorite. Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact just for you. Lamborghini has a driving school located in the Alps, where drivers can practice driving their exotic supercars on snow and ice, as long as they can pay the $12,000 fee. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.